So guys, today on this video, I'm going to discuss how to use this if you're running this system, the Pro Clip mount for your phone, how to make it magnetic um, and charge magnetically. Now, I got a new phone and it charges, it has the capability of charging magnetically. So I wanted to utilize something like this and not have to buy all this new equipment um, to be able to do it. Um, I was looking at the Pro Clip site. They have an adapter that fits on here. It bolts in under here. So you'd use the same base, but then this um, connector here, you switch out. And they want $50 for the piece that holds a MagSafe charger. So I was thinking that's a lot of money, $50 for a piece of plastic to hold the factory Apple charger, which will then allow you to, you know, the phone would detach to it magnetically and it'll charge. Um, so I didn't want to spend 50 bucks just for a piece of plastic, you know, and if you didn't have any of this, you have to spend $50 for that piece of plastic to hold the MagSafe charger. And then you also have to buy the base here. That'll run you like another 40 bucks, $50. So you're talking a hundred dollars and then you have to go out and get the Apple MagSafe charger on top of that. So that's 40 bucks. So that's a lot of money to spend. So I'm going to show you how to do it. If you're, if you have this though, that's the base, the, the main thing. If you run in this, how to modify this to use this right here. So I picked up one of these. These aren't cheap either. Um, like I said, they're 39 bucks, 40 bucks. Um, but I bought a new phone and I'm not a huge fan of using aftermarket chargers for them. A lot of things could happen. You know, they don't have a lot of regulations as far as when they build them, they could put excessive heat on your phone, which could prematurely wear the battery out and so forth. Um, so I highly recommend using OEM chargers. If you're, especially you spend what a thousand dollars, 1200 bucks for phones nowadays. Um, so I want to show you how to do this. Okay. So first step you can do if you're running these, you take these two screws out right here. Okay. If you loosen these all the way, this, this piece, not only will it come off the base, but these ears right here will come out. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when you take off these screws. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you disassemble everything. This is the back plate that came on like this when you unscrew it. This comes apart, and I'll show you those the side pieces that come off too. This is the mechanism that gives it the swivel. So all you're pretty much doing is taking it apart to remove the side pieces. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So this is what happens when you unscrew it. You'll have that little gear in the middle that'll pop out and those two side pieces that are used to clamp the phone in. Now you could leave that in there if you want, but there's really no use for it since we're gonna do the magnetic here. So, you know, I might put the ears back up if I wanted to have some extra support so it holds it in there, then you don't have to plug it in, might be good. But for right now, I'm just gonna use this um, um, flat piece to mount the mag charger. Okay, so I put it all back together. So this is pretty much what you're going to have. This is what came out of the car, if you guys remember. So all I did was remove the two side pieces. So you have a flat base here. Really easy. Like I said, you still get the swivel on it, which is nice. I like it a lot. I think it's gonna work really well. It just takes some doing. You need to buy a couple parts, but this will be the cheapest way to do it. And you can do it cheaper if you don't wanna use an OEM, um, the mag charger, but like I said, I recommend using that. Just they charge way better. So it'll look something like that, and then you're gonna stick the mag charger to this, and then I'll put that Spigen cover on it just so it finishes up the edges. And you should be good to go. And like I said, if you already have the Pro Clip, this is an easy way to mod it to work with your new phones if you guys have the new phones that can charge magnetically. So this right here will just slip over the top of it. I'm not gonna tape this part down because it has a snug fit anyway. I'm just gonna tape down the mag charger and then this spigot will just cover go over the top of it. So it's like a trim ring. So you can easily take it on and off if you need to. 
has some grippy stuff on the back. It's not tape because it's meant for a, a table, but it'll hold on just fine. I think it'll just clean it up, give it that finished look. And then I'll run the wire down and plug it in. All you need to do with the mag charger, you need to buy an adapter as well. So the USB-C can plug into the 12 volt outlet. You can buy that on Amazon for like probably seven, eight dollars. So you see here, I think that'll have a nice finished look like that. And you, like I said, you don't need that trim ring. You could just tape this mag charger right to it if you want, but it just looks a little out of place, just a hockey puck thing sticking to it. So this kind of finishes it up. It has like a bevel to it. So it's a nice clean design. But like I said, you don't need this if you don't want. It'll work just the same without it. Depends what you guys are looking for. And that piece I think was like $13. Okay, so I'll go ahead and construct all this and I'll show you the final product, what it looks like. Okay, guys, so I got it all put together. I feel it looks really good. That's the final product. It has the mag charger, the trim ring from Spigen, and then the original Pro Clip base. Works really good. I'm happy with that. If you see here with that trim ring, it kind of finishes the edge off because if not, you'd have this flat edge with this hockey puck just bolted to it, which is fine. Like I said, I just like it to look like it came like that. So as you see here, it still swivels fine. You can lock that in too. You have to screw it in tighter. But then right here, I have that adapter that I got. I paid $10 for this one on Amazon. It's just the USB-C. Um, adapter to it that you need since the new mag chargers um, they upgraded to the USB-C so you can't plug them directly in these cars but that's all you need guys here I'll turn it on here and I'll put my phone on it and show you how it looks it's right here it's nice too because you can fill it just pull it pull the phone back in so right there, see it start charging? It's perfect. Like I said, works just like how the, all the OEM ones do. See right there, you get that when it's closed. The factory, because you're using a mag charger, looks good. What's nice is look, you can turn it horizontally, holds perfect, solid base. I like these mounts because they are really solid. You know, you can shake it there. The phone's not going to go anywhere. It has a strong magnet to it using the OEM stuff. Really good. And you just pull it off, you're done. It's very clean. No wires to worry about. The only thing you don't want to use this for, if you guys are plugging your phone in for the CarPlay, you don't want to rest it on here because it can um, overheat the battery. Try to charge it twice. So, but the, two, the 2021 Accords I know have the wireless CarPlay. So that'll work perfect for you because you don't have any cords anyway. Um, but for me, I just like charging my phone. I listen to music through Bluetooth audio, which sounds great to me. Um, it's just one less thing. I don't have to keep messing with the cords. So if you guys want a wireless charger, here's an easy way to make your own. Looks great. And it's high quality stuff too, the parts you're using. Okay. Hope that gives you guys some ideas for your car. Definitely reach out to me if you have any questions, comments. I appreciate that. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks, everybody.